What's going on, everybody? Craig Michelson with Cox High School Sports On Demand, powered by Max Preps. Today, we're going to introduce you to local senior standout baseball player, James Caprellian. He's a pitcher out of Beckman High School. Uh, this summer, I played in the a part of the OC Angels, which was a lot of guys who were playing at OCC and some of my uh, senior teammates from last year. We all played together and got a lot of baseball games in during the week and a couple on the weekend as well, and just got a lot of good uh, competition out there and tons of baseball. During the fall, I played with the, um, the Yankees on the scout team. Uh, great competition. Love playing with those guys. Uh, you know, playing against great competition all the time, and it's just getting better out there. I also played uh, in the Urban Youth Academy Invitational, which was about a month ago now, and got an inning in there. Top kids. All the, there's tons of tons of scouts there. Just couldn't ask for anything else. What are some of the goals James set for himself and his Beckman teammates? Uh, well, I always like to set a pretty high goal for velocity, so I'm thinking. I'm going to try and get it up to, you know, maybe 94, 95, because I know next year I got a lot of competition with the, on the mound and stuff. As a team, I think we're just focused on uh, taking this one game at a time in this uh, in these, uh, tournament right here. But uh, as soon as league comes, we're just focused on getting those wins and hopefully getting that uh, repeat. And then we'll see what happens from there. We're not going to talk about what's down the road yet, but if we get lucky enough to get down there and we start playing together as a team, We'll talk about that later then. James being one of the top pitchers in Southern California gets a lot of attention in games. Oh, I, I love it because, you know, I get to hear sometimes what they're saying, but at the same time they're just writing things on the clipboard. So, you know, I'm worried a little bit to see what they're saying, but I like it because, you know, I came in here freshman year, I was like five five foot seven and now I'm six foot three and, you know, work hard off season, work hard in the weight room and did all my work, did the extra work and it's starting to pay off for me. I mean, who knew that college was going to be an opportunity for me and now that the pro scouts are out here, couldn't ask for anything better. It's just a great opportunity. Um, the recruiting process for me was great. It was uh, a little bit stressful at times because I had all these great uh, offers from all these awesome colleges. But uh, you know, I was really thankful for it. And uh, I chose UCLA because I was really uh, happy with Coach Savage. He really came into my house. You know, told me wh like I was going to get better, and I was really just happy with the program. I uh, went on official up there, and the team was really great. I talked to all the players about all the coaches and really just seemed like a great place you know up in LA not too far from home but not too uh, close at the same time so you know exactly I can c come home for a good cooked meal or something so uh, James is a good guy you know he's a great pitcher um, whenever we go in a game and we know James is pitching we know all we have to do is put up a few runs and we got the game even though we try to do more we know when he's on the mound we really don't have that much to worry about He's going to UCLA, so I know I'll be playing him for the next four years. So we're going to stay close. We're going to be good friends. At UCLA, hopefully I can improve and uh, get, get a good amount of innings in my freshman year. And hopefully, uh, you know, Coach Savage can help critique me a little bit and give me better to hopefully play at the next level. So who does James like watching pitch? I don't really know if I model this person, but one of my favorite players to watch is Mariano Rivera because, you know, everyone knows he's going to throw a cutter, but he's up there confident every single time and he knows he's going to beat the guy who's batting so I mean I kind of try and emulate that when I'm on the mound he kind of has a his own little swagger to him per se but I mean he's confident up there every single time and he knows he's going to get the job done so every time I'm up here stepping on the mound I try and do the same thing. James had a pressure loaded top of the seventh in the victory over Tesoro. What was going through his mind at the end of the game? Uh, well I know we had that 2-1 lead so I had to get something done you know it's my third year being out here as a starting pitcher and I knew I had to show a lot of these younger guys who are up here for their first game what it takes to be a good pitcher. And you got to come out here and control the game, take it at your pace. So I knew I had to get it done. Um, kind of that last inning, everything kind of just zoned in on the glove the way it should have been, you know. Starting to feel more comfortable out there on the mound. And, uh, you know, just trying to get outs, but, uh, you know, I'll take a strikeout as well. I mean, it works. What does James love about playing baseball? Uh, Beckman baseball has always been like a kind of a pretty close family. We always have a winning attitude, but we always have fun. Practice is always fun. A lot of guys don't like to practice, and I mean it's tough to go out here and practice every day. Same stuff, hidden, and but we really enjoy every second we're out here playing together. And Coach Laval and Coach Reader and uh, Coach Pierre, they all make it a lot a lot of fun for all of us, and it's really a good time out here. We, I mean. It's high school baseball, and it's just living it up. And with James on the mound, Beckman looks to repeat as Pacific Coast League and CIF Division III champions. Thanks for watching Cox High School Sports On Demand, powered by Max Preps, keeping you in demand.